<laughs> Hi, Sharks. How you doing? My name's Kadimo. I'm the founder of Mama O's Premium Kimchi, based out of New York City. And to the left of me is a living legend, my mom, Mama O. Hi, Sharks. Hi. <laughs> Along with my beautiful and very pregnant wife, Amy, who could not be here today, we are the owner-operators of Mama O's Premium Kimchi. We are seeking $250,000 for a 10% equity stake. So, Sharks, everyone knows kimchi is delicious, but did you also know it's super nutritious? Kimchi is an Asian superfood from Korea. It is naturally fermented and is full of probiotics. That's right. Kimchi is health food, but more importantly, it tastes incredible. And not just with Korean food either. Kimchi goes great with hamburgers, hot dogs, mac and cheese. The list goes on. What makes our kimchi the best is our authentic Korean mom recipe. <laughs> kept fresher than other brands by our innovative packaging. In addition, we invented the first and most complete homemade kimchi kit. What used to take over three hours, now you can do in less than 10 minutes because all the grinding, mixing, measuring, juicing, chopping and shopping is already in the jar. Just like my mom used to make, and it comes out perfect every time. It's a lot easier than you think. So Sharks, who's interested in fermenting some money while augmenting your tummy with Mama O's Premium Kimchi? <laughs> Good nice. job. All I right. love kimchi. Damon, if you wouldn't mind. I don't know that I've ever had uh kimchi before i i mean i've been to some korean barbecue places but i don't i don't know if i've had uh, maybe i have maybe I, i'm not sure but uh that i think that's awesome getting the you know taking a uh, family recipe turning it into a business uh getting some packaging that gives you an advantage like those are i mean obviously they probably have uh invested some money in this and hopefully they got some sales they got some great looking packaging uh, at least from the initial look uh, and uh, hopefully they got those sales to back it up and, and get their two point five million dollar valuation there. Uh, stay tuned to the end because we're gonna we're gonna watch or check out their website and social media as well. And as a fellow New Yorker, would yes. you help Mama O make some kimchi on stage using our kit? Absolutely, it will be an honor. Hello. Hi, Damon. Today, you're going to turn this Mama O's Premium Kimchi Kit to Mama O's Premium Kimchi. It's like sex education, but spicier. <laughs> <laughs> Please put on this rubber glove. Thank you. You normally need rubber gloves during sex education. For kimchi, you start with a head of Napa cabbage called Pachu in Korean. Pachu? <laughs> All right. I've already cut one and brined overnight next add one jar of kimchi paste scoop it out with your fingers as much as you can take out okay <laughs> that's enough that's it okay that's enough now let's mix just gently toss it gently tenderly <laughs> lovingly i'm getting turned on damon <laughs> that's it it's ready for fermentation it is for okay. some of us enjoy just made fresh kimchi and eat it like salad Oh, that's sweet. Well, <laughs> Now, we put it in the kimchi uh, jar, and it looks like this. So what is this right here? This is an airlock that okay. makes your kimchi breathe while it's fermenting. That's so amazing. Thank you. I feel so warm and fuzzy now. Aww. David, first of all, thank you. Sharks, uh, you have a sample of what we're offering. We have four different kimchis, the kimchi paste and the uh, kimchi chili hot sauce, which I didn't even mention in the pitch yet. That throws only just one type. Actually, there are hundreds of types of kimchi. Okay. But the one that most people know are, and familiar with are Napa cabbage. We have the original, a vegan version, Ooh. a mild version. Did the you try the super spicy? Oh, that I was extra about to warn you about the super spicy. spicy. Like, yeah. Oh. Maybe, really maybe start with the spicy warning first. Hot. <laughs> I want to know about you guys. Like, how did you come up with this idea? I needed some kimchi for myself, and uh, I live in New York. My folks live in Maryland, so it's too far to go to Maryland to bum a jar. So I would bring it back in this exact cooler, our family cooler. And back then, I would wheel it home on my skateboard. Wow. <laughs> so I asked my mom to teach me how to make it. And then I was buying some ribs, and the butcher's like, oh, you eat with, that, with some kimchi and rice, eating like a king. So I said to him, you know, I sell this stuff. I didn't. And he said, I'm going to start carrying it. Now we are nationwide through Whole Foods. We Whole just Foods. got wow. into. How much does it cost to make and how much do you sell it for? It costs us $2.65 to make a bag of kimchi. And it retails from $8.99 and up. And the kimchi kit, uh, we make them for $8.25. And we wholesale for $20. So tell us about your sales. Our top line sales for last year was $815,000. Wow. Nice. Right. Good okay. job. And what will sales be this year? This year, we are projecting a million dollars. And how much will you make? 
25%. Good for you. And is the majority of your sales right now coming through Whole Foods, or is Eric direct to consumer? We do almost zero online sales. We have our own website, but really? that's that's not our focus. But we also uh, partner with William Sonoma. Have you been in there a long time? Probably about eight years now. So why are your sales higher? Uh, yeah, that's a great question, because at eight years, like, it should be... It should be a lot higher than than that. Uh, you know, the great thing, though, is Shark Tank is the great, I don't want to say equalizer, but it's a great bump uh, in, in the sense that, you know, a lot of people are going to go want to want to go try this. Right. So hopefully when we get to the website later, they've uh, enabled it to if they weren't already selling online, they, they are enabling it to sell online now because, you know, it, you know, you have a, 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 a not well. We have a global audience here, uh, but Shark Tank itself, you know, in the U.S., uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of people probably trying to get their hands on this stuff. Uh, I built this company for $50 on a skateboard. So building it up, I have zero outside investors. I've done everything so myself. Let me re-ask the question because you've got the distribution. So what's holding you back from being a two, three, five million dollar company? Because I always thought the way that businesses work is you 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 make money in the business and then you can hire more people instead of getting any. Well, you outside are making funding. money. I'm assuming you pay yourself, or is that part of the 250? So uh, I don't pay myself. I've invested the money back into the business. Got it. So okay, first that makes of all, sense. you started this with fifty dollars in a skateboard. I'm a mom. I have sons. How does this make you feel, Mama O, to see your son build something like this? I am proud of him, but more than anything, I'm thankful that he is an honest, hardworking entrepreneur yes. who is passionate about kimchi. He single-handedly run the kimchi business. Now, two years ago, he met Amy and got married. They're expecting their first baby next month. And Amy has lots of experience in food business. She quit her well-paying job and joined our company. So now, we are a dream team at the cusp of fantastic growth. So, with your backing, the sky is the limit. Oh, I mean, that's really so beautiful. Much. Honestly, it beautiful. you can't bring mom like that. I mean, clearly, like you, you're you're already in Whole Foods na na nationwide, right? So, uh, you know, I I wonder if part of what's needed there is uh education like t you know get just getting it into the hands of more people to open up the market even more uh i think that that would be where i would be trying to focus is like get just get it into more people's hands um and i don't know what their co competition is as far as uh kimchi like other brands that are making it um but you know if there isn't too many other brands at least here in the states then i i think that it really just comes down to like we gotta we gotta really blitz and, and get people uh to open up and try this this new th you know, well not new thing but th a new thing to them so un that's unfair you have a million in sales you know i look at it and say to myself you have to educate people about what this is and i think over time as people become much more concerned about healthy foods yeah. this is going to fit in that category the hardest job of this is actually getting people to try it. It's not for me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm out. Exactly. Ding, 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 right? So uh, the other the other thing I want to say, though, is is that $250,000 in, in profit you haven't paid yourself. So you're, that means you're, you're probably just scraping, you know, money to get by, you know, get by as whatever you need. I mean, your wife uh, has a... Uh, or his wife girlfriend uh has a a job so it's like okay she has a well-paying job so it's like okay so we have income coming in uh and and they can kind of make it work but two hundred fifty thousand doesn't go as far as you might think and i think the other problem that you run into there uh is where do i you know to uh kadimo's uh point like okay we we get more money then we hire more people and and it grows but when you have two hundred fifty thousand dollars in profit, you know you gotta be really careful about where you're spending that, especially when you're not paying yourself. So you're already like playing every position, and now you're saying, okay, we can get somebody else in here. Um, but you gotta be real careful with where you invest that money in for somebody else and who you're giving that money to, that they are going to um, work 
you know, almost as a as a startup, even though you have you have money coming in, you got sales, you've done a lot of that legwork, like you still have a long way to go to be to the point where, you know, if if you invest fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year in somebody, um, and they don't pan out for whatever the reason, it's not going to sink you, right? And um, because you can only take on so many of those when you're when you're talking about two hundred fifty thousand dollars, because the money will evaporate pretty quickly. And if you take on a marketing campaign to try to educate people, like we were just, you know, I said and Mr. Wonderful just said, uh, you know, that is a very expensive uh, and very time consuming uh, education process to to bring it to the masses. So um, you got to win those battles one like one on one on one because we're talking about test, you know, taste testing here. Hey guys, one of the hardest things an entrepreneur has to do is determine when to add their first employee because you have to give up a little bit of control when you try to go for growth like that. But after eight or nine years, there had to have been an opportunity for you to do this. I just don't think you're going to be confident and I think it's going to be hard for an investor to work with you. So for those reasons, I'm out. Nah, I don't, I don't, As nah, I don't, I don't totally agree with that assessment. I mean, there might be more that was said, obviously, that we didn't get to see, but um, you know, going back to like, you got to be really hyper careful with what you're investing in and making sure that, you know, that, that if you, you know, you might actually be better off just getting somebody else in sales first, right? So you can just generate more. So then you can have on people that, that are just in the back end, you know, uh, operating the company and, and all that. But, uh, yeah, it's it's it, it's difficult to make that decision, and even having eight hundred fifteen thousand last year and, and planning for a million for this year, I mean that's a two hundred, roughly two hundred thousand dollar jump. I mean that's a that's a huge jump there. So, um, you know that's a lot of you know he's gonna Kadima's gonna hit his own ceiling at some point, and uh, and obviously with having his first kid and all, like time is going to be super compressed and. Um, so maybe, you know, sales would probably increasing that sales number would probably be the number one thing. So he could stay closer to home and, uh, be with his, his family as much as possible while fulfilling the day-to-day -day operations, uh, there. Much as I love you both and as much as I love kimchi and I think it's really spot on for the future. It's just not investable for me and I'm sorry. Oh. I'm out. Thank you. Your story was so inspiring. And Mama O, you are one of a kind, truly. But if I'm gonna invest in something, I gotta be able to like really stand behind it and sell it. And I'm not a kimchi person. For that reason, I just can't invest that amount. Damon, you're the last shark. Uh, tough one because I, I, you've sold a good amount over the years, but why do you feel that you're ready to change the way you've been operating with your family? Mm -hmm. Why is this the time? We're, we're expecting a baby next month, so that's another mouth to feed. Shots, uh. please, if I may say something. Mama O's kimchi company needs money for capital investment and expanding our that's facility. That's why you came to Shark Tank, Mama O. Right. But not only money, but your expertise, your direction, your guidance, your support. I would like to have someone to come in and teach us and then lead us to the big market. That's why we are here. Well, I'm on the fence and I think it's really because of Mamo. She, she's definitely just amazing. I'm gonna have to trust, uh, I think, my gut. I'm not obsessed with the product. I'm just obsessed with the culture you and Mama O and I. I hope I don't regret it. No, you know what? I hope I do regret it. But unfortunately, I'm out. Good luck, guys. Like Thank you for this the uh, opportunity to swim with the sharks. Uh, <laughs> good luck. Congrats. Uh. Do I think the sharks made a mistake today? Absolutely. Well, the important thing is that we stay healthy and love each other. That's the most important thing. Ding, ding. Uh, absolutely. Let's uh, check out their website here. I, I, I you know, love the packaging. Uh, obviously, they've had time to uh, refine that and work on that. Um, you know, I, 
so I guess the I guess the thing here is is it doesn't really like it doesn't show like the the aeration like what makes it different but i guess if you're if you're just hitting on like how do we get people in the door right to try then that's you know it's like what's the uh whoa 65 dollars oh okay uh, that's right half gallon uh well the 48 ounces sold out so that's that's a good uh that's a good sign but they don't have a price on that so 64 ounces 90 128 ounces would be 93 dollars wow um yeah uh, I, let's see how about the uh, kimchi sauce right can we can we get the the sauce 17 dollars okay so that's that's a little more uh easy to get 200 each this is like a kate like i'm well i don't 200 mil is okay so two bottles this okay that's not bad two dot the three dollars more and you get two bottles uh, three bottles. They don't have a price. For, oh, it's unavailable. So I, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. Like I, I would be interested in trying the uh, the sauce. I'll, I'll talk with uh, my wife and we'll, we'll see about getting, getting it, um, and trying it out. Anyway, let's check out their social media. So we got fifty three hundred followers over on Instagram, always, and lots of uh, lots of uh, engagement going on over there. Facebook, we are sitting at five thousand followers. Ding ding, very good to see. Quite a bit of uh, engagement over there as well. Anyway, uh, Kadimo, I would love to have you. Mama O, come on the show uh, for an interview. It'd be great. Just drop a comment down below, uh, like this one from Scandium52. Nice video as always, Joe. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you in one of these two videos over here. Take care and go be super.